These are dishes from one day. Look at that. Isn't that disgusting? Why didn't my mom ever tell me that adulting sucked? Guess we'll use this. Okay, so I'll hit you with a what is up YouTube. <laughs> my friends call me T-Bum. <laughs> so today is the 120th day of my all natural bulk. Which, for any of you who aren't gym bros, a bulk just means you're trying to put on as much muscle mass as you can. Now there's ways I could have did this to put on a little bit more mass if I would have just ate like pure chicken and rice every single day, all day. But I wanted to do it as healthfully as possible. So up until yesterday, I ordered all my meals off Factor.ca, which is an organic, uh, no GMO, healthy meal plan that you can get online and the meals delivered to your door. So I'm going to pretty much take you through a walk through my day. It won't be exactly the same because I'm not eating factor meals today. Today is my last day. I'm kind of going to have some fun with it. But pretty much it's been six meals a day for the last four months. And a lot of heavy lifting. Gym six days a week. So right now we're making some protein pancakes. Uh, three quarters of a cup. It's 23 grams of protein in here. There we are. Just stirring this up. Let me get it on the pan. That pan's getting nice and hot. We'll drop some butter on there. And get these babies cooking. Crazy right now. I shouldn't have to be doing any of this with a woman in the house, but I'm just doing it for you boys. I'm like fucking Jean Gerard. All you have to do, Ricky Booby, is say you love crepes. I'm not saying it, Peppy Le Pew! Ooh, alright, have it your way. I'm going to break your arm. He ain't gonna break it. I'll tell you what, right now, I'm gonna slip on out of it. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh, I just farted when I moved like that. <laughs> We're gonna do two cakes on the pan this morning. Fucking crop is good. Boys, I know this should be organic, but fucking Aunt Jemima. What? Aunt Jemima. Okay, boys, got some breakfast here. A cup and a half of Greek yogurt, 30 grams of protein, three quarter of a cup of protein pancakes, 23 grams of protein. We're now at 53 grams of protein, plus the milk that we put in there, that's one gram, that's 54 grams plus a banana, 55 grams of protein in this simple, easy breakfast that tastes good, light on the belly, good way to kickstart the day. We're gonna get this in us, and uh, yeah, we'll cut to the next scene, baby. Okay, boys, a lot of you watching this maybe aren't exactly gym bros, might be wanting to start. Might be why I clicked on the movie, on the video. It's honestly not very hard, fellas. It's just like some simple steps in life. You don't have to go above and beyond to become a gym bro. You just need to prioritize health. Maybe make a little better decisions in your day-to-day. -day. Like, when you get home from work, 
if you want a cold beer, maybe have a cold glass of water, you know? I'm not saying you can't have a cold beer, but hydrate yourself, maybe have a little protein shake, then drink your beer. Make sure you're getting enough water. That's like the number one thing. Most people don't get enough water in a day. I have my water jug you're going to see at some point today. Holds like a gallon. Then I know I get my water for the day. If you get your water in, you're good. Pretty much the basic steps to becoming a gym bro is you just got to do like a little bit of physical activity every day. Move some fucking weight. Don't be a pussy. God put you on this earth to be a man, not to be a little boy. If you're fucking 16 or older, there's no excuse why you're not moving any weight any day. So move a little weight, get your body weight in grams of protein, which is super easy. We just seen right here with this simple breakfast, I got 55 grams of protein. I weigh 221 pounds right now. By the end of the day, we're going to have our 221. Don't you worry. So that's step two. And step three is drink enough water. Obviously, there's many steps beyond that. But the first three, getting in the gate, is just lift some weight, get your protein, and stay hydrated. It's pretty simple, boys. I'm going to have the pretty lady behind the camera shaving my belly and my back because I'm getting hairy. I want to get some good uh, pictures today to compare where I started to where I am in these 120 days. So I can't look like a sand squanch. And then uh, we'll, we'll cut to the next spot from there, boys. This video is a little different. I know you're normally used to us just partying and riding dirt bikes and doing all crazy stupid shit, which is fun. And that is our life. But I also want to show you guys the back end. Because we did a poll on our Instagram page, Fulcrum Films, a while ago. And 50% of you said that you want to see our fitness side of our life. So this is for you 50%. And I feel like even the ones who voted no, if you're watching this, it should inspire you. Because there's no reason why you can't be the best version of yourself every single day. And feel good. And look good. Be functional. Be fuckable. Like, bro, when you walk through the world with a six-pack and you can pump out 50 push-ups on any given occasion... The blonde girl at the bar is not so intimidating anymore. You can do anything when you feel like you can do anything. But when you feel like a sack of fucking bricks, you don't have the confidence to accomplish anything. Whether it's pussy or business or fucking any of your goals in life. So, move some weight, drink your water, get your protein. Well, boys, I lost my video girl and fucking Seth, brother Seth's supposed to video today, but he's too much of a fucking bum to help, even though he has no job, no fucking anything going on in his life. All he does is sleep in, smoke dope, and do fucking nothing because he lives at home for free. But can't help his brother out even though I help him all the time. So, little rant over. I guess I'm here setting the camera up for the rest of this video, boys. Anyway, Sand Hills Coffee from Perks and Norfolk in Boston. $15 for a pound, best coffee I've ever had. Highly recommend it. Making my coffee right now. Almost, I think it's nine o'clock. At 10, we're gonna have our protein shake. And uh, keep continuing on with the gym bro uh, video here, boys. So, look yeah. On a positive note though, boy, guys. Boys, got the dishes done. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, boys, 10 o'clock now. Today I'm off, I'm self-employed, and I made sure not to book anything for this day a long time ago, because 120 days of going to the gym every day and eating right, and it's exhausting. And you know, I'm proud of myself for making it this far, so I just wanted the day to myself. Typically, I get up and I eat at about 6.30 in the morning, and then I have a 10 o'clock meal replacement shake. Um, today, we're doing the 10 o'clock meal replacement shake. This is what I normally do. do. It's a whole food protein from Redcon 1, so good, highly recommend. But my girl brought me these, a whole case of these. They're not full meal replacements. They're not known GMO. They're probably not the healthiest, but they taste good. She brought them to me, they're free. 20 grams of protein instead of 25, which I believe is in the replacement. But anyway, this is what we're gonna drink today. Alani or whatever it is. They taste pretty good. So this is gonna be our protein shake, and then uh, our next meal is gonna be at 12 noon. Uh, I'm just about to get into the shower now. Gonna head into town and go to the tanning salon. So I guess we'll uh, see you guys in the truck. Okay boys, made her to the truck. Holy, it was like sunshine and beautiful day this morning. Now it's a rainstorm. Anyway, this is my water jug. 
tells you the time where you should be at, how much you should have drank. It's 10 o'clock. I'm almost at the 10 o'clock mark. Time for a little sippy poo. On my way to the tanning salon. Try to tan once a week throughout the winter. I'm Irish, so I'll get extremely pale. And part of being a gym bro is having a tan because you don't show any muscle definition if you're not tanned. So we're on our way to the tanning salon. Gonna cop a tan. Come home and uh, get into the third meal. All right, boys, made it to the salon. Gonna get a little stand up in and feel like we're in fucking Aruba or some shit. Just like that, boys, looks like I was on the beach in Aruba for a day. Beaches. That way. Okay, boys, just got home from tanning. Like I said, Seth's supposed to be videoing me today, so I'm not doing all this on my own. But I said we're putting out a video, so we're putting out a video. Just got my lunch chicken and my pre-gym chicken on the pan here. Gonna be cooking them up. My light bulb just blew in the fridge this week. I've yet to get one yet. Uh, so we're gonna be cooking this up here with some organic Uncle Ben's rice, canola and brown rice, or canola and brown rice. Sea salt, we could use this one. Garlic, we're gonna go garlic. Everything for the most part in my house is either organic, well, is organic, non GMO, try to stay gluten free, try to just eat as healthily, healthily as possible. Most of my meat I get is from the butchers when I'm cooking for myself. Like I said, I was doing those factor meals there for a while, so I didn't have to buy meat, but all of that was farm uh, grass raised meat. Um, unfortunately, these two chicken breasts are just from the grocery store. Wanted to go to the butcher's yesterday, but it was closed by the time everything was done and we got around to it. So, I mean, chicken is better than no chicken, but I highly recommend eating as healthily as possible. Like I said in the beginning of the video, there's ways I could have put on more mass and looked a little better if I would have cut out the healthy aspect, but in my life, I try to do everything as healthily as possible. So, uh, yeah. That's my little tip for you. I'm gonna cook up this, these two chicken breasts here. Uh, this organic Uncle Ben's rice or Ben's original or whatever the hell it is. That's the logo you wanna look for, boys. Non-GMO. If it says that on it, they legally cannot have any bullshit in the food. If it doesn't have that logo, it is guaranteed that your food is bullshit. It's got chemicals in it. It's got shit that is literally poison for you. So when you're shopping, Non-GMO. Might cost a dollar or two more. What's your health worth? Because you're literally poisoning yourself if you don't have that. So anyway, we'll cut to my lunch meal here. And uh, yeah, keep this video rolling, boys. Here's lunch. Lots of chicken on there. About a chicken breast and a half. Just a little bit of rice. Uh, my method behind the madness is I try to get as much protein in for lunch. With a little bit of carbs, of course. And then the pre-gym meal is heavily carb loaded with protein as well. All right, just about to head out here. I'm only to the barber shop, gotta get my hair cut. Got my fourth meal right here. I'll eat as soon as I'm done my cut. Then we're gonna get on the road. Gotta make a stop at Winners to grab a wife beater because my day one picture when I started this bulk, I was wearing a brand new wife beater in these black Nike shorts I have. And now I haven't bought beaters in a while and they're all kind of stretched and whatnot. I want them to fit nice so the photo does justice of the 120 days. So we're on our way to the barber shop. After that, gonna go buy some new beaters and then uh, get to the gym. So stay tuned. Up to the barber shape. What's up, brother? What's up, bro? How you doing? Not bad, you? All right, boys, just getting through this haircut here. Shout out Barbara Romeo, Upper Line Hair and Beauty. Absolutely blessing me. And boys, I'm just sitting in the chair. I've been sitting here and I smoked a fatty on the way. So I'm just like thinking and you know how I get in these little head spaces. So the reason I wanted to make sure that I got a haircut in this vlog is because the whole point of this vlog is to inspire you men to be better men. And I'm just sitting here thinking like, you know, when you grow up, any, any male 
that you idolize, you've seen on the TV or in games or whatever it is, sports, you know, they all are muscular and they all had some type of a nice haircut. Like, it's not many men that you idolized growing up as a kid that were fat with a sloppy haircut. You know, Hercules, Arnold, fucking Shaq, you know, MJ. All these boys put in the work for who they were to look good, feel good, and, and be beasts. And there's no reason why, if you're a grown-ass man, that you shouldn't be exactly that. So I'm here, day 120, getting this fresh up. Got my tan done for the day. I got my meals prepped. I'm doing everything I can to be the best me possible. So I'm about to leave here. Go get a nice fresh haircut. Or uh, go get a nice workout in. My bad, like I said, I smoked that fatty on the way here. But boys, it's important to take care of your health and take care of uh, your appearance because at the end of the day, that's all you have is you. So look good, feel good, take care of yourself. And the rest will come easy, man. It's like I said earlier on in this video, when you feel good about yourself, that blonde at the bar isn't so hard to approach. But you know, if you look in the mirror and you see something you're not liking, then you don't have that confidence to carry yourself through life and, and to tackle every obstacle in front of you. So boys, take care of yourself. And uh, I guess we'll uh, cut to showing, to showing up at the gym and getting this last workout of the bulk in. Let's go. Rooms? Take it easy. <laughs> Said I'd cut to the gym, but I guess we can't cut to the gym without getting our pre-gym, gosh darn it, pre-gym meal in us. About to get this chicken and rice real quick. Ooh, it doesn't look like a lot in there. It's quite a bit though. Like I said, I'm not eating like a bull. Or anything, I'm trying to put on as much mass as I could over these 120 days while doing it healthily and not overeating or anything like that. So here we go, I'm about to eat this and head to the gym. Fuck boys, before I leave the parking lot here with my food, I thought I'd need an energy drink for the gym. Look what I just found organic energy drink all organic ingredients i don't know if i ever heard one of those don't know if it's gonna taste good we'll soon find out well gosh damn it boys i forgot to buy a new beater so i guess the after photos will be shirtless and it is what it is today would typically be a back day but since it is the last day i think i'm gonna do maybe some deads bench squat and then maybe just some uh little individual target muscle groups i don't know i haven't even came up with a game plan it's been a heck of a day but we want to get this content out there so we're gonna go see what we can come up with starting with some deads not gonna go too heavy last day i don't really want to injure myself uh probably gonna keep everything under 225 as far as deads and bench and squat goes maybe get into some shrugs some curls nothing too serious kind of a celebration pump so Anyway, I'm gonna get into these another set of deads and uh, work my way over to the bench. So, I just got 135 on the bar. Made an executive decision to not go heavier today. It's the last day. We've got lucky with pushing numbers. Uh, my max bench right now is 300. Uh, deadlift 425 or 35, and 365 on squat. So, numbers are okay, kind of where they need to be for a natural guy. Don't want to push it now, so just getting this last pump. I'm gonna, I'm two sets in now on this 135. Probably get one more set in, and then switch up to some squats, and that'll be that. Came in, did my work, started with deadlifts. Only ended up doing 135 for a few sets. Benched 135 for a few sets. Did some body weight squats, some pull-ups, push-ups, curls, tricep extensions, a little bit of shoulder presses, not too much, but just wanted to get that final pump in. Maybe I'm cheating, I don't think I'm cheating, I don't know. Typically this is how I do it. Monday is chest day, Tuesday I'd do back, Wednesday would be legs, Thursday shoulders, Friday arms, tricep and bicep, and then on Saturday I'd do a full body hit. That's what I've been doing for the last four months, 120 days. Every third week, I'll switch up the order to shock the muscle, do a little different type of workouts. But overall, that's what's worked for me. Um, but to go jump on the scale, yesterday I weighed 221. When I started the bulk, I was 203. So up 18 pounds. Naturally, in 120 days, eating as healthily and as clean as possible without overeating. So we're gonna go step on the scale and uh, 
see what we're working with here, what the final number is on day 120. Okay, let's see what we got. Two hundred, still way too light. Go to sixteen to start. Still not there. Oh, it's still coming up light. It's looking like two eighteen. Two eighteen. Yeah, we got a gap there. 218 and a half on the day. I was hoping to weigh a little more, but hey, yesterday we were at 221. That's 18 pounds. We're going to be happy with that. And uh, yeah, about to take a week off until March 11th. And then come March 11th, we're starting the cut, baby. So now we're going to continue on with the day. Going to go downstairs, get in the sauna, get a little sweat out, go home, blast a cold plunge, blast the nightly yoga. Give you guys a little recap and 120 days can't believe we got it done feeling good there we are that concludes today's video i'm gonna go get in the sauna here give you guys a real quick little rundown of how everything looked not just today what's up bro so pretty well i've been doing 120 days straight six days a week taking sundays off I missed three days for Christmas holidays, two days for New Year's, and I missed the odd Saturday. I did cheat days from noon on Saturday till noon on Sunday, so 24 hours, eat whatever the fuck you want. Uh, did six meals a day, Monday to Friday, and then on Saturday we did three up till noon, and Sunday from noon till nighttime I'd do three healthy meals. Uh, just been grinding one muscle group a day for the last four months. Up 18 pounds total, that concludes it. Uh, five days a week, I've done 12 minutes in the sauna here, three minutes in a cold plunge. I do 40 minutes of yoga every night, and that has been my bulking journey. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate your time. If you like what you see, let me know, drop a like or whatever, and uh, maybe we'll do some documenting of the cutting season. Uh, I'm about to get on a plane tomorrow, a little vacation. I think I earned it. And uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And thanks for watching.